What's up everybody? Tanase Tudor here, the founder of Follicle Booster and Folixil. Welcome to the first ever Follicle Booster show episode and today we're going to learn everything you need to know about minoxidil. First, we need to discuss a little bit about history so you understand how minoxidil came along, how it was transformed from an orally to a topical lotion. In early 1970s, minoxidil was administered orally to treat hypertension and high blood pressure. As a side effect, doctors noticed it as a hypertrichosis. Customers start to develop hair over their shoulders, back and beard and scalp. As a result of that, they start to transform minoxidil into a topical lotion that treats androgenic alopecia and that eventually can get FDA approved. First time minoxidil has been used and transformed as a topical lotion was at 2% in 1986 and after that in 1993 it has been used as a 5% lotion. Ever since then minoxidil has been used worldwide by millions and millions of customers to treat androgenic alopecia and to help with the beard growth. Now a little bit about the formulations. You have a few concentrations. The 2% is usually used by women because they have a more sensitive scalp and they don't have hair loss mainly, they have hair thinning. After that you have the 5% which is used mainly by men but as well some women that don't have any results from the 2%. You have higher concentrations which is 7.5 or 10%, sometimes even higher. Those are quite risky and I don't recommend you use that before you use the 5% and you notice you don't have any results because you can run into skin problems. After that you have two types of applications. You have the lotion and after that you have the foam. Those two differ. For example the lotion has most of the recipes have propylene glycol which helps the formulation overall to combine with all the ingredients and the foam doesn't have that problem so if you're sensitive with that specific inactive ingredient I highly recommend you use the foam. All these are taken every single day twice a day in the morning at night with active massage so you make sure that the product receives onto the scalp. The last option is the oral one which it has been used sometimes at the same time I don't recommend it. You have 0.25 milligrams per day for women and 2 milligrams per day for men. Of course this has to be with doctor prescription and all the dosages have to be adjusted depending on the customer and on the patient. Now let's discuss a little bit about the mechanism of action of minoxidil. First, minoxidil works as a vasodilatator for the scalp and for the blood meaning when you apply it, it increases the blood flow of the capillaries, so the follicles will receive nourishment and nutrients. After that, it gets metabolized by the enzyme sulfotransfers and metabolizes into sulfate. Meaning, when you apply minoxidil, it has to go through a process in order for your body to perceive it as an increasing of blood flow and to perceive it as a vasodilatator and that converts to sulfate. When you hear that only 60 to 70 percent of customers have results with minoxidil, that's because their body, their liver doesn't produce that sulfate and that's the reason why they don't receive it and they don't have positive results. When you apply minoxidil on the scalp, it will metabolize on the skin level over here and you see these capillaries here will start to increase increase the blood flow so the follicle will start to receive more and more nutrients is going to get nourished more frequently and with higher quantity of blood and eventually what that does is going to prolong the anagen stage which is the growth stage of the hair. Let's discuss a little bit about the side effect. I like to categorize those into two types the minoxidil side effects and the recipe side effects. So for the minoxidil the four main ones which have been encountered the most are the headache 0.6%, increase in heart rate 0.1%, swellness 0.08% and weight gain 0.03%. These have been the most common ones and when you have any of these it means that you are sensitive to minoxidil. What I would suggest if you have some headaches when you start to use minoxidil so you order your first bottle you start to use it and you have a bit of headaches wait two three four days to see if those disappear and if they don't stop using minoxidil because most likely you are sensitive 
to the main ingredient. After that, you have the recipe, which is irritation, dandruff, and itching. When you have any of these side effects when you use minoxidil, it means that the recipe you're testing and you're using is not a suitable one for you. Either the companies that didn't put a lot of effort into their research and development to create that specific recipe, or you're sensitive to that specific recipe, for example, to propylene glycol. At the same time, a successful recipe for minoxidil, it must contain alcohol because as explained, it converts to sulfate and metabolizes at the skin level. And for that, it needs to dry fast in order to be absorbed by the skin. And at the same time, alcohol is a very, very good ingredient to mix all the ingredients together and dissolve everything perfectly. Okay, and now some personal tips that I want to give you from my experience and what I have read, studied and tested on myself are the followings. Number one, don't use or avoid using aspirin. Why? Because the aspirin blocks on the liver the sulfur transfers and I explain you here and the action, you will stop having good results with minoxidil because you're not going to have that ingredient to metabolize the minoxidil. After that, don't use it orally. I know that sometimes that's been using, but we evolved from that. As, I, as you see here in the 70s, it has been used orally. And as a side effect, you had hair on your back, forearm, shoulder. I don't think you want that. You want to have beard and no hair loss. Avoid sports one hour. So if you apply minoxidil right now, I will highly suggest you don't do any sports in one hour after that. Why? Because it's gonna increase your heart rate, it's gonna open up the skin pores, and then the ingredient is gonna be absorbed even faster and deeper into the skin, and some customers might experience more irritation after that. The minoxidil recipe side effects, if you have any side effects, please remember these two here that I categorize and try to consider if you're sensitive to minoxidil or to the recipe itself. If you're sensitive to the recipe itself, I suggest you order one bottle from different brands, use it for five, six days each of them, and the one that you like the most and the one that your scalp approves the most is that what you should use for the long term. After that, you should massage actively when you apply it. When you apply minoxidil, it's a lotion or a foam. You have to massage actively, making sure you open up the pores and you're activating the blood flow even more so that you're ensure that high percentage of minoxidil gets absorbed by your scalp and your follicles will receive as much ingredients as possible. This was the entire video in five easy steps. I hope that it helped you. If you have any questions, please kindly comment down below so we will reply to each one of you. Thank you so much.